Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Rayman Origins, everyone. Uh, we've done a few worlds already, but we're going to the underwater world, which... Um, I have... I like it and don't like it at the same time, and I'll get into that as we go through here. But, yeah. And I'd like to apologize for comments in the previous part session. Correct little nymphs. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, but like my connection is horrible. Oh really? What's going on? Hello. Hi. Hello. What's going on? Sorry, my connection is horrible because I am as far away from the router as I can be. Oh man, this is interesting. But this is—I've cool? well, always been far from the router. It's also when we're screen sharing. Mm. Oh, right, you don't have the ability to dive yet. No. Yeah, we don't get to the main part of the world until a little bit later. Meh. All I hear is glue glue now, you hear the, the singing. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Glue glue, glue glue glue. Ooh, good, ooh, good, good. I forget if I play some real song. It probably is. Yeah, like I didn't, I, I didn't know Castle Rock was was based off Black Betty. Mm. Yeah, the only one that's original, I believe, is the um, Land of the Living Dead. Land of the Living Dead. Yeah. Even then, that's a remix. Yeah. Wait, I'm. So I went to GameStop today. Oh yeah, you got a lot of games. Uh. Yep, what, yeah, one of them was free because of a discount. And actually, yeah. uh, story. Um, my, uh, you saw I had pl Kirby Planet Robobot, right? In my yeah. first thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, what I was trying to get instead was the Kirby Dreamland collection on Wii. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's, I didn't even know that existed. Not in Europe. The problem, yeah. The problem was, um, Oh, Apparently Dreams Collection. Sold... Yeah, the Dreams Collection. Oh. What the problem was? Apparently, when they sold the game, they aimed when when, sold, when whoever had the game originally sold it, they had it with Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Ah. Uh. So in the case, so I took the case before before we left, luckily, and um, it had Kirby and the Rainbow Curse inside instead. Well, granted, that's a game I would like someday. I didn't want it today. Hmm. That's not on my. Yeah, I want to try that at some point too, but it's not priority. I kind of want yeah, to play so the Canvas Curse first. My options were either to get, my options were either to um, wait a week or and wait about for up to ten days for it to be delivered to my house. Wait even longer for it to be delivered to the GameStop if it's even closer to my house. Yeah. Or to um get a different game, and, and, for, and because I want to keep a discount going with the uh. Right. <laughs> So I got Planet Robobot, oh which goodness. technically was a little more expensive, but because of how little more expensive, they technically let me get away. They let me uh, have it for a little cheaper. Right. Because also, you know, uh. it was our mistake. Sorry. You know? Mm, uh, yeah. So yeah, technically I saved two dollars on Kirby Planet Robobot. Yeah. Uh. I can never tell what they're- I think we've been through this, but it sounds like they're saying, help me, every time you get the coin. Yeah. Help who? Help me to help them to help something to help you. Oh, That's gosh. from something, isn't it? That's from Krunk's new groove. Oh my goodness. Well, I thought you were half making a, uh, Epic Mickey 2 reference. That's what I was thinking oh, too. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that game's not memorable enough for me to uh, quote. Help me, help you. I love the this obstacle course gameplay. You also miss a coin. Yeah. I mean, we don't necessarily need all of them, but. Can I even. I don't think I can. No, because the platform's lowered. Whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're probably gonna get another like soon, but at the end anyway. Is she literally just wearing a bow? Goodness gracious. 
if we have to, I'll do some time trials. He might be. You can now hold your breath. Yes. Indefinitely, you mind you. Yep. Take that, Rayman 2. Yeah. Why do 3D games always limit your breath holding? Water breath? Uh, what? yeah, I... Like, uh... What was it? The Mario games uh, do that. Like, 2D Mario, you can breathe indefinitely, but as soon as you go 3D... 3D Mario, oh yeah, you're right. With the exceptional 3D Land and World, for some reason. That's not real 3D Mario, Harry. Uh, I, guess, uh, I, guess more I guess it's still a bit more 2D-ish, or, you know, like a 3D, 2D thing. Yeah, I mean, the level design in those levels have it so you're almost always underwater, so it would be kind of unfair. But, right. you know. Also, funny thing about the music here. Yeah. Um, my, I, I was playing this on my, when I first played Rayman Origins, I was playing it on my cousin's NTV. It, it, right? Yeah. The thing is with this TV was, um, for some reason, some of the instruments wouldn't play. Oh. So, um, the main, so, the main, like, the loud version of the, uh, when I got here, I didn't hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I heard was the background one. Oh, well, it's funny you mentioned that, because, um, not exactly the same thing, but, um, the last session had it so sometimes the, uh, the music didn't play at all, so it was, it was just quiet. Yeah. It was weird. Like, it played this? Yeah. It's a funny thing, like... Like, the, like the main front noises of the singing here yeah. weren't there in my version when I was playing. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I like it better that way. Mm. A little obnoxious, to be honest. Mm. It's weird. A little. I, I don't know how... I really don't know how I feel about the music. Like, it's... It's not bad, per se, but it's just weird. Then again, that's not really different, new for Raid, man. Yeah, but it's a weird that I'm not really... I'm not sure if I really like. Because I... I'm you, well, you, you didn't do that a different way. Huh? You got to that coin a different way. What did you do? The rope. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, all I hear in the background when I was in for during this part was a... Mm. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I, I like these levels because of how, how much move, free movement you have. But at the yeah, same, I... huh? What are you saying, Harry? At the same time, though, I feel like these levels drag a bit much, especially later on. That dark, that that one, that one swimming level, one of the one of the uh, tricky treasures really annoys me. Oh, oh, that was cool. I don't remember that. <laughs> I like how erratic that was. It's like, Doof! yeah. Oh, you missed one. Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna be missing like two elections at the end of the game is gonna piss us off. <laughs> yeah. It's... Well, we're just... Actually, wait. No, we're just missing it. Yeah, we're just missing the metal. 13. Oh, what I'm the only... heck? What? <laughs> what did I just do? Yeah, I think replay. No, no, don't do this. I love how it's just like, yeah, bloating. I've never seen that before. You never, hit, you never hit replay level? Nah. Okay. I was about to say, if it just locks me out and have to I have to play that stage again. <laughs> I like that song. Yeah. It's nice that these games uh, went back to how <laughs> wacky Rayman's world is. Very colorful. Remember how you can break the spines? Yeah. So you can break like the coral cones. 
We're not. Uh, we don't need to. When you can actually reach it, though. So. I like this piece actually a lot more than. Sorry. Rayman Two West. Uh, kind of. Very foreboding. That's kind of what you get when you're go when you're diving from deeper into the ocean. The diving into the unknown and all that. Uh. You can get you can probably get that if you go from the other end. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a king thing around here. Maybe I don't remember there being one though. I also like how when they're in the bubbles are just static uh, sprites. Yeah. So you don't have to worry, like, as as soon as you hit the bubbles there, the hitboxes are just, just vanish uh, right after, so... That's nice. You just gotta touch them. Yeah. Because otherwise that would kind of suck. Oh yeah, this coin took me... That coin, I remember in the, um... Uh, in, uh, Legends, that's where one of the teensies are. Uh, I guess it makes sense. That one took me a while to find. Oh, okay. Shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Alright. Okay, you're worried that you're just gonna not. You're just gonna hit that thing just a tad too late. Uh, uh, or you're gonna, like, clip the hitbox. Oh my goodness. How did I not Jesus do that? Christ! Okay. Horseshoe. Alright, so we what? good? What about a horseshoe? Harry had a horseshoe up his butt. Psh. No, he had a horseshoe on his. No, he had a horseshoe on his back. It eats like Cooper. Mm. In the first fly game, anyway, that's how it worked. Mm. I need to play those games actually. Are they any good? Fly one's yeah. good. I haven't played the sequels, but people like them. Mm. The first one's very. I don't want to say basic. Uh, that's not always a bad thing. It's more streamlined compared to the second and third. Right. Second, third, and fourth are open world. Hmm. Sort of open world. Okay. Open yeah. hub, I guess the best way to say it. I mean, I remember seeing some of the uh, SGB play one of them, specifically Elliot. <laughs> yeah, Elliot always does the slide. Elliot's the one in the slide series. Uh, these grabby things. Oh, right, yeah. They remind me of those hands in Super Paper Mario's underwear. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, right, and the river sticks. Yeah. Oops. Ah! Yeah. And how they're based on, like, actual hands or something, like, from... I don't even know, but it's, um... It's ba based on a real-world thing. I thought it was based on Greek or Roman mythology. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. river sticks is the yeah. uh, river of the dead. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I have an urge to watch Hercules. <laughs> I hear a teensy. Oh, okay, that's a secret. Okay. You mean Electunes? Right, sorry, Legends. Uh. I did not want to go back. <laughs> I did not want to do that game. <laughs> I think you want to get rid of the TNTs. Okay. Ah. okay, that works. Alright, and then that. One more. First one, but yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. Okay. Reynolds is going everywhere. Yeah. Because a, a thing with this uh, the swimming controls like um. It's the dash go, it goes pretty far. 
Well, that too, but like, if you're on something, uh, you can, the dash will sometimes not really glitch out, but the physics will make it so you go down like that instead of like just forward, which can screw you over. Well, it's a good thing there aren't any tricky treasure levels underwater. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh... Cause I, I remember watching you play, Jason, and that's exactly what happened one time when you died. <laughs> Oh, right when I was streaming it just to show you how the PS4 version works. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm at least happy that now that I have, like, you know, with the power of PS4, I can record. The power sort of, of the PS4. Sounds like you. And... <laughs> that, that's what I get for being curious. Um, power of the PS4 sounds like... It sounds, sounds like trying to make a commercial or something. Now you're playing with power. PlayStation 4 power. Also, first time I played this game, I thought these anglerfish were going to hurt me. They look Sorry. like it. Yeah, they only to... yeah, really get touch damage. Yeah. Wait, then you can't get touch damage from them? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Jelly rape. Yep. Invincibility frames don't exist in this game. Just knockback. Lots yeah. of knockback. Yeah. I mean, it's not and, too... And, 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 and what just happened there is just more like your hitbox turning back on. Yeah. I mean, it's not too bad considering how uh, good the checkpoints are and there's no life system, so it's not too bad, you know? Oh, God. But I, probably, I don't know how I feel about this game if it had lives. Mm. Also, there's something up there. Yeah. What that? You gave it to me! Oh, but you wanted me to drink, drink the coffee, Dad. Rip. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I, I gave it for a shower soon. So. How'd you guys feel about water levels? Um, really depends on the game and the controls. Yeah. Ram it. Yeah, this game I don't mind them too much. Yeah. In this game, um, they're, they're in inoffensive at worst. Um, but I really do like them in Legends. I do like the swimming controls in, uh, like, oh. if you're just going to swimming levels in general. Um, like when you're using the Zora's mask and Majora's mask. Yeah, 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 definitely. It helps for that they... one little... Huh? What's it? Somebody what's do, like, a jump leap out. <laughs> yeah. It they helps Actually, they... it reminds me. Actually, it reminds me. Um, to get to... In the Japanese version of uh, Majora's Mask, that little jump you have to do for the lake bed temple, wasn't that, like, a little higher to make? Uh... Like, just to get to the great oh. bed... The great bed... Great Bay Temple, there's that, that little, uh, lip, like, that, that leads on the platform where the uh, owl statue is. Oh, yeah? I'm pretty sure it was higher in the Japanese version, just by a bit. Hmm. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, I think you had to leap, do the Zora leap to get there. And it's a little precise. Yeah. I kind of do that. Yeah. I kind of like doing that anyway, because it looks cool. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it's like, I like it when um, swimming levels don't uh, hinder your movement too much. Like, like Ray, Rayman like, and Majora's Mask, again, do it pretty well in that regard, because you still have really good movement underwater. I say I love what just happened there. It's like, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah. I think the lum count is the same for every main level, so we should be fine. Right. Oh, bright. Yeah. Another good way for you to make a good water level, I think, is to make it, um, I guess, peaceful, um, like ambient, and just kind of relaxing. Like, Mario 64 does that pretty well, I think. 
Oh, I love uh, Dire Dire Docs. Yeah. It'll, that's, like yeah. One, that's like one of the water themes. That's the that's one of the best water themes in gaming. No doubt. I mean, aquatic ambience is good too, but still. Uh, I mean, I have a more connection to aquatic ambience, but oh, but. Mm, I mean, that's the that's the one I heard first, but I have. I, I tend to go back to die die dots more. Aww. Do that dance, Rayman. Yeah. Skip it. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna go to water levels. I love. Mm. It's like I mean, like Mario has, Mario kind of sometimes has a problem with their water levels. I'm not a f I'm not a fan of 2D Mario water levels. Um, most- some of them are okay, but most of them are just kind of, eh. It's crappy. Good thing we don't have to do any tricky treasures in the water. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be really painful, especially if they had those coral cones. Funny thing, actually, uh, the ship in the background. Um, in the E3 demo, they basically just showed off a bunch of random areas, and that, uh, um, um, the, a random treasure chest was just being chased for the whole, throughout the whole thing. It was pretty great. Alright, sorry, Dad. Alright, I'll get your copy, Dad. This is... Um, painful. This level is painful. Well, it's not as bad as the um, second. The dark one, where you're going straight down. Oh, gosh. Yeah, because like, there's a second... There's a second half of this game, and... Yeah. It's gonna get a lot harder. That one's also bad because it's really long. Mm. Yes. And a mess up, you're back at the start. Yeah. I mean, granted, the end game levels of these can get really long. Yeah. Actually, I remember in um, Legends, wasn't the very first tricky, tre tricky treasure level they used the, the shadow level? Yeah, I. Because I. They don't use all the uh, treasure stages in Legends. I think they, I, I believe they might just do the secondary ones. I could be wrong. Uh. It's like there's only five worlds and only they have one tricky treasure each, I believe. Well, they kind of like just mix in levels from both visits, right? Two? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Oh God. There's like 40 or so. There's 40 or so levels in Back to Origins. <laughs> um, if I also remember correctly, uh, when you, uh, in the Legends, the treasure just doesn't have the eye. I think, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I think the, the eye always stays closed or something. No, I, I don't think the eye just, I just don't think the eye is flat out there. Mm. Do you just get a Freaking teensy? Flipper. Do you just get a teensy or something from those stages? Uh, free teensies because there's two teensies right. in the way as well. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, the trash is holding a teensy. Mm. Because you see it like stick out like, HELP! Yeah. I think this is one of the levels that you used in Legends. Hmm. I only really played through Back to Origins once. Huh? What the heck? Oh! Uh. <laughs> Opera Rock. Wait. <laughs> that is a little tight. Good for us, we have good swim controls. I decided this game is a close. guard, what happened? <laughs> Mm. For friends, <laughs> I'd say this game has the clo is the closest 2D equivalent to Spyro 2 swimming controls. Uh, well, Spyro controls very differently. Is the thing, right? Because I like because oh. like when you're in the water, like if you if you don't hit any buttons with the analog stick, you like it turns in place. Because Spyro, yeah, if you're not um, just dashing, Spyro's pretty slow underwater. 
I'm like, but don't this... do dash by default. No, no, no. You have to hold the button down. But you're no. You're... I thought most players dash by default. Yeah, yeah. I do too. But there's sometimes when you need to like make a precise yeah. turn. Like most of the time, you are. Dashing. I always find it kind of interesting when there's segments actually where you really realize you can't boost through them, if you will. Yeah. Like, because like you're. you're Usually, instinctively in charging, like in, in Spyro's case. Yeah. Was there a water level in Enter the Dragon Quest? Or you're yeah. uh, oh. Um. There was. Ki kind of? Like, there was. Oh, right, the beach one that had yeah. the pigs. Yeah. That do the same exact. Well, they do the. I think they do the aha thing that the professor does. Yeah. And they then, do. and then there's like this, the, these other characters, <laughs> other characters in the um, prehistoric level that do the same sound. I think they also um, pretty much use the tiki idea from. Um, uh, what was that first level? In, what was that level in um, Spyro Two? Uh, describe it. Um, it's like you helping these. Uh, like these rock workers or whatever it is. Oh, and the the there's a weird and there's tiki's. Yeah, that have like stone cutters. It was, it was called stone cutters. That's um level called glimmer. Uh, no, glimmer's the no, very no, first that, world level. Yeah, cause I cause the um European name is based on the first world. It's like gateway to glimmer. Gateway to glimmer. Yeah. <coughs> um. I don't remember what it's called. I I think I know. Is is it is it the one where the tiki's are like burning sausages or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Dad. Yeah. I think, like, the thing with uh, water levels that aren't very good is just the problem of, like, they feel like they slow the pace down and they don't really add much. The things we mentioned earlier is what should be done to make a water level not be like that. Right. What's better, levels with underwater sections or just full on underwater levels? Uh, hmm. Um. I mean, I don't that mind. That kind of varies on the level. Because, um, yeah, kind of depends. Because I, I don't mind there being some water sections in a regular stage. But usually if there's a section, it's only for like a, a little, like a moment. Yeah. So it doesn't really feel it, so it doesn't, it's just kind of there. Yeah. Usually the impact only comes from when you're at least 80% submerged. That Whoa. is so cool. What? Just pounding into the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I found that little black vine. I'm sure you know, I found the black vine pair. It'll screw you over later. <laughs> We're gonna be everywhere soon. Mm. There we go, most of them. I'm trying to think of a water level, actually. Um, uh, like, I like, the, I like the Donkey Kong Country ones, even if you can't necessarily defend yourself without on guard. Mm. I mean, they're usually spacious enough or give you enough, like, room so you can uh, go through stuff. Like, um, a weird example of a, like, because, like, Mega Man 8 has water sections. Even right. Aquaman, they hate. Right. And, the sw and it's also the only Mega Man game where Mega Man can swim. Oh, but the swim controls are kind of weird. Because I know in the other games, like when there's underwater, you just jump higher. Right, but well, except for one. Oh, what happens in one again? It, 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 you just have normal physics. Oh, okay. Um, in Mega Man 8, though, the jump aim, the swimming is weird. As you hit X to aim, if you as you hit X again to swim, Mega Man automatically moves forward. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, we go in the metal again. It, it doesn't necessarily. It, it, the the sections don't matter too much. It, you you get used to them quickly. 
What happens to the music? I have no idea. What? What happened? I wasn't listening. Like, the music just vanished. It didn't do the victory jingle. It's just like... It's like, ah, oh, so far! I'm actually here the... Right here? Yeah. Uh, they're talking about Yay! a good water levels in general though. Uh, Hydra City Aquarium Park from Sonic. Right. Yeah. Mm, Total Tempest. It's also interesting in, it's also interesting in Sonic's case because he doesn't necessarily swim nah. in, some, in in the 2D games. In, mm. Like he swims, he, he technically doesn't swim in Aquarium Park and all that, he just keeps jumping. Yeah. Um, I still love in Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games. They actually give Sonic like, a life vest. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty great. Um, what is it? It also proves that Shadow can swim. Uh, yeah. This is canon because it's a Sega game. <laughs> Although I highly doubt the Olympic Games themselves are canon. They're totally canon. It doesn't really make much sense for them to be. I don't. I wouldn't mind them being. I. I, I don't. I. I, I they're not canon enough. I. I wouldn't mind them to be, but like. Like I can suspend my disbelief. Considering the world doesn't actually have humans in there either, so it. It's it, that kind of Mario characters. I guess. And Eggman. I do like these levels, they're a nice little breather. Oh, crap. That's a bit breather. too early. Uh -huh. A bit too, <laughs> a bit too early. Oh, I'm cracked! Also, I love how like, Rayman's pupils are so small in these games. Mm -hmm. Um... In Rayman 2, when you when you're in the water, you lose air fast, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't. You can't go underwater for too long. Like, I remember That's there was the blue lums everywhere. Yeah, and I remember like one level specifically had that giant whale that kept giving out bubbles. Right. It was like that thing from. It's like that guy from Banjo Kazooie. The shark. The um. Or that fit oh you mean the fish right at the bottom of where the shark was. Yeah the clank yeah the thing underneath clanker, yeah. The uh, dolphin no no whatever the thing was. Actually what do you think about the water controls in um Banjo Kazooie and Tui? Um they work fine enough. Not really much to there aren't really much to write home about, but I do like how in Tui you get an ability that lets you do both. Banjo and Kazooie's swimming move to make it a bit faster. And give you more air. Yeah. I sometimes forget to get it, and I get it. end up getting it late game sometimes, but... I yeah. always remember that the moment I get the, uh, the, uh, the drill, and the build drill. Yeah. Like, it's could be, it's could be in thing. Yeah. We can shoot the jellyfish here. I wonder if someone's actually well, we trying... Well, we, had, well, we had the ability to shoot them here. Yeah, huh? I wonder if someone's actually tried doing Look Jolly Roger's Lagoon without the sunlight move. move. You can't, I don't think you can. I then mean... Again, a, a, then again, um... Uh, DDQ will probably prove me wrong. Because I know there are some areas where you you can, like, get go back on land, so... Well, like, when you run out of air, you just start losing um, your heart health at the same rate, don't you? I think so, yeah. I mean, unless you're in, like, segments like, um... Uh, like, like, the water in, um, Rusty Bucket Bay, where oh it goodness. really quickly drains. Yeah. Make it to that one jiggy in the rudder is even more of a pain. Yeah. Although... It's not as quite as bad as getting the, uh, um, I, I, I guess like, it, they expect it to be the last honeycomb piece, but the one way you have to go to the Naughty's house in winter, like, I always barely make it out alive. 
All right. Like whoever placed that item in there is evil. And then there's oh, Snacker. Yeah, we don't talk about Snacker. Yeah, it doesn't help that he's like one of the only respawning enemies in Kazuri. No, no, wait, no, no, enemies respawn, I just take a time. Um... No, I don't, I... Most of them don't, like... Like, you can just... Are you sure? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, because I, rem I remember, like, just killing the enemies in, like, Treasure Trove Cove, for instance. And the honeycomb pieces will still be there, but unless you leave the leave the world and come back in, they're gonna stay dead. It's only... In Tui, they disappear after some time, right? Yeah, in Tui, they reappear. I know that much. But Snacka, it takes a little bit for him, but after like a minute or so, he does come back. I don't think even a minute. Yeah. And Banjo Kazooie, the original version, you have to if you. Don't collect all the jiggies in one go, and you cover turn to a level. You have to recollect them all, don't you? Uh, that's, in... that's the notes. Yeah, no. just the notes. Um, not in the. Uh, in, in the uh, I think in the Xbox Live version they fixed that. Yeah, in the in the Xbox Live version and by extension wherever you play, they fixed that. You don't have to. So like every note you collect stays, right? Yeah. Um, it should... Okay. That's good. So that, should... and that that makes Rusty Bucket Bay a lot more tolerable. Yeah, because I remember in one of my um, playthroughs of Banjo Kazooie, I was j just because I was going, I was getting all the Mumbo tokens, and I had to use up like three lives just to get all the all the, the ones in at the engine room. The bomb, whoa! Jumbo, whoa! He looks like he enjoys those looms a lot. Yeah. Uh, considering what's actually going on, I'll just leave it at that. Considering we're pretty much pulling a Kirby. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that didn't take too long. That went by pretty fast. Yeah. Alright. How are we for time? It's uh, 12.30. It's up roughly away. half an hour. Okay. We can probably get at least the first half done. Right, because I gotta get a shower really soon. Mm. Actually, I think I'm gonna get a shower right away. Is...